everybody, this is Rido, and we are back with another recording of Lego Batman, the video game. So we're gonna play the Villains Chapter 1 of Riddler's Revenge. Right now we're gonna do 1-1, one, one, and we've already got the Red Brick, and we've already got the Super Villain. We only have to get three minifigs, so this probably is not gonna take that long, I would suspect. we just got a couple more to get and and then that's it the reason why we already have the red brick here is because we played this level to get this red brick because it is the score doubler <laughs> who's the big powerful guy that can lift things not the riddler mr freeze Now we still want to get coins, so it's not a silly idea to keep on playing, running around getting coins. Plus I want my recordings to be at least some decent length long. Um, so we'll get our score up. Also, we need coins because we are going to try to buy the score times four for probably two million. Um, two million studs, so we need to get up to two million studs as fast as possible. And as soon as we get the score times four, then we have the score times six to deal with and get. So there was one here that we didn't bother to pick up last time we were playing. So we need to drive a car into that. Get rid of the coppers, drive the car right into it, crash it, done. Got it. So that only leaves a couple left. I'm still wondering if that's supposed to be a chain or a chalk outline of a dead body. It's really out of place either way. He's driving this over this way for no reason. Because there was a collectible there before and it's gone now. Let's see, up here. There's nothing left over here. Now I'm just holding down the B button and not actually moving any direction when I'm doing that. It, it just automatically knows where to go. There we go. And out to the next section. Going up on the elevator. So we still have this mess, whatever that mess is happening back there, because it's glitched out, it seems. Where's our glass Batman? Old glass jaw Batman. So this bad guy is, like, he's supposed to be holding her at gunpoint. So that was a citizen that needed saving in a villain level. So take note of that. And it said 13 of 25. So there will be citizens in peril in the villain levels to they all count to the total of 25 in the game. So that makes me a little a lot less concerned. Unfortunately, there's still a bit of a problem with it because uh, there's no indicator where those guys are in the levels. If we manage to miss one somewhere, I will just have to kind of run through all the areas again and run through the entire game 
and I can practically promise I wouldn't bother to do that on screen. Um, because that would be very, very boring. Here is where we got the red brick uh, for the score doubler. Or we did half of the work to get to the red brick for the score doubler. It took a long time and we had to follow the instructions several times to figure out what was really necessary to be done. You have to clear out this section, put this on here, clear out this, clear out this, all the way back here. You have to get a car in here, so you have to build a car. Jump up on that banner and make that arrow sign fall down, and then that will leave you enough pieces to make your car. And then you have to drive that car all the way to the trash compactor and activate the trash compactor, which it was the second lever. In case you just didn't see that, it's a lot. Even consulting instructions. I had a bit of time with it. Go ahead and put this down. Put this down. Take this. Take all these coins. Pull this. I guess that's the way we're supposed to go. Poison Ivy. Yeah, just that's how you get up here, sure. That's exactly how you were meant to get there. <laughs> Buggy game. Buggy game. I don't even for as much as I've complained about this game being unpolished and and uh just missing things. I will say it has it had a lack of bugs really. It hasn't been super buggy. Just little things like what we just saw. Not game breaking. I've had a lot worse. I've had full on crashes, I've had a lock up. think anything would is going to open that door. Unfortunately. Nope. Blow that up. I already have the red brick. I already have everything. So this just makes the plunger and just just makes the bomb or whatever. So how are we supposed to get up there? Normally. I guess you would have started by Get this car out of the way. Car out of the way. Let's 
let you come up here and where is Riddler? Control this guy to destroy the bathroom. And he pulls the lever that leaves all that. Build that bomb. Step on it, and I think need somebody that can jump. Yeah, that's the whole level right there. That's all we had to do. Not very obvious that that was how the level was gonna go or end. Ten minutes. Well, maybe eleven. It took me 11 minutes to do that. <laughs> it's getting very, very silly. Very, very silly just how short these levels are. Just straight up crazy. It sends me back to Arkham Asylum. I don't even have an option to, I guess, continue the story in free play mode. It felt like when we were playing the hero, though, you could. Maybe you could. Oh no. Well, the difference was when, when I was playing in hero mode, I always saved and exited. Okay, he, I just realized there is an indicator. See the little Lego smiley face next to it? That's how we know if there's a citizen in peril. Lego frowny face, Lego smiley face. Lego frowny face, Lego frowny face, Lego frowny face. So that is great news. That is super excellent, awesome news. We now have an indicator, uh, even though it's not in the bar down there, which was the only thing I was looking at. We can use that to our advantage. Look at all these villains wandering around. Anywho, I guess that's going to be it for this recording. I, we, I can not do anything more so as always I ask you to like share subscribe comment if you want to and watch every second of my videos all that helps me out if you want to support me you can click on my name right oh on the right will be a blue button that says support this channel click it and make a donation and if you want a friend or follow me on basically any social media sites there's a whole bunch of links down below Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.